All right, hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, another episode of Using Emacs. And um, today we're gonna talk about um, some stuff that you can support um, uh, your general purpose writing, like when I make my blog posts or whatever. And to be honest, these are tools that I haven't really worked into my workflow yet. Um, I still just go to the web browser and uh, use a web-based interface, which is really kind of lame actually, as you'll see. And I should be doing this with an Emacs, so um, hopefully this will get me to um, to do this in Emacs a little bit more. Uh, the other thing is um, I want to show kind of how I will um, go about working with packages a little bit more. Nothing really earth shattering here. Um, but well, I, I, I find packages in a number of ways. One way that I find packages is I'll use, um, you know, I'll see them on on the Emacs uh, subreddit, um, and that, that's probably the place where I most frequently find things. Um, I also, um, you know, JCS's blog, Air Real, I find a lot of things from there. One of the packages I found that I'm going to show today, I found through there. Um, uh, Sasha Shua's weekly Emacs updates, very valuable. And, and sometimes I'll just come over here on to Melpa if I'm looking for something. And what I'll, you know, what I'll actually sometimes even do is I'll look here, but I'll, I'll click on version. Um, and if you click on it, so it goes, um, you know, looking here most of the versions start with a timestamp so this tells me that you know that let me make these bigger you know um you know council projectile was just updated i should probably update that um you know tree max which i don't use etc et um but so let's say i want to deal with dictionaries i'll look up dictionary and um i'll get a bunch of options um and a lot of these are not really good for me. They might be spelling dictionaries. Um, you know, I don't know what the auto dictionary for fly spell is. Um, a Drupal thing, that doesn't make sense. Um, the Helm dictionary could make sense uh, and Helm dictionary for WordNet, um, but that doesn't work for me because um, I don't use Helm. Um, OSX dictionary, um, but here we've just got plain old dictionary, so I'll click on it. And what I'll do a lot of time, I'll just open on another tab, um, is I'll say, oh, this package looks interesting. You know, I'll go over this a little bit. Um, usually I'll click through to the home page. And then if I want to try it out, what I'll usually do is I'll just use the try command, which I talked about way back in one of my early videos. And try lets you install an Emacs package, but not permanently. Well, it's not permanent no matter what. I mean, if you if we come over to here, let's open up the terminal, and if we go to Emacs D, and when you install something, you know, using like when I use use package in my configuration, everything is you know installed under Elpa here, and so you can just get rid of it, you know, certainly easily enough. Either for the package manager, you can delete the stuff here, um, but this tries it without installing it in there. So if you just exit Emacs and come back into it, everything you do here will be undone, um, which I like because then if I want to try different packages and sometimes they'll start, you know, uh, you'll, you'll get conflicting, uh, um, you know, keystrokes or key sequences to launch things, you'll get, you know, conflicts, uh, and you can try things in a, you know, a little bit more easily and then I'll put it into my, um, my configuration. Um, another thing about try is sometimes you'll do try, and we'll just look for a dictionary here, um, and you'll think you install it, and if you're not paying attention, it may not install. And that's because um, the package list hasn't been updated. This looked to install, but but you might have to do a package refresh contents, um, you know, because um, in order to get the, make sure everything is synced up. But anyway, with dictionary, I don't think we even have to do dictionary mode here. We can just come over to here and do dictionary um, lookup definition. And there we have it, definitions of, uh, of create. We can quit out of that. We can do dictionary uh, match words. I don't know. Um, okay, you, you know, so that looks pretty cool. So, you know, I played with that. It looks cool. It looks like a much more effective way you know, just looking up that everything there would go from dictionary, and it doesn't look like there are any, any anything, you know, there's no dictionary mode in here. I guess, you know, we can do dictionary search and stuff. Um, control G out of this. Um, and I could read this entire uh, documentation page here um, for more, and I'll probably have to deal with some, 
you know, like it looks like here, um, we have to set the keys um, for dictionary search, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'll play with that later. But for now, if I want this, I can just go to my configuration file when I bound um, escape, escape C to bring up my configuration file. And we can do use package uh, dictionary. Yes, I know I shouldn't, I should just do the um, uh, default parameter for all of these, but I still have not done it yet. Okay, so that's that, and we've got dictionary, and we are good to go there. Now, the other thing that I, I was playing with a little bit were thesauri. And um, there were a few of these that looked kind of good. So again, I just look it up and, you know, and I go through all of them. And um, I haven't looked at synonymous, but the first one I found, and this was through the link through the a recent post on Ariel, was for Cynosaurus. Um, and that's what I started playing with. And when I saw here, um, I didn't look at uh, Synonymous yet. I, I probably should, but I won't do this now. Um, I did look at Merriam-Webster Thesaurus, but that requires you getting um, an API key from them. So I didn't end up playing with that. Um, but I'll usually, again, this is what I do. I go and I, I look up here and, and I decide I'm not going to, this is paired with the Synonymous server. If we want to run local, okay, I'm not going to do that. Um, we'll bring up this home page. And we'll bring up this home page for Power Thesaurus. Um, so it looks here that we've got Power Thesaurus lookup word, lookup word at point, lookup word do what I mean. Um, it's got a little demo here. Let's see what this does. And so what we're going to do here is let's try this one out. So let's uh, go back to the scratch buffer just so we have words here and I don't mess anything up and let's try um, power thesaurus let's come back to here do we have to do anything special no it's just the functions there's no mode or anything so we can do let's say go up to buffer power thesaurus look up word at point and Buffer to buckler, okay, whatever. Um, but that's that. The other one um, and that I tried that I think I liked a little bit more was um, was this one over here, Cynosaurus. And so it says here um, to enable it, uh, you just have to um, enable Cynosaurus mode, um, and then you get these guys here. So let's do, let's try Cynosaurus. And let's go into Cynosaurus mode. So just trying this out. And it says CSL for lookup, and buckler is there, and buckler is a shield. And if I do CSR, I can replace it with shield. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like we can also do a couple of other things here. Um, now we could set the back end and the back end um, as you look further down can either be WordNet or Open Thesaurus. And this is something that it, you know it doesn't you have to read it to know to do this. Um, you have to install WordNet. I had to do an app get install WordNet before this worked. Um, and then everything was fine. And it looks like you can also do, let's look at these interfaces again. You can use the I do one. We can use the default, which is mini buffer. We can also set this to pop up. So let's look at that. Let's see if we can, um, I guess we can set Q um, Cynosaurus choose method. And I don't know if that's supposed to be a string or whatever. Let's try that out. So let's try CSR and it brings it up like that. Um, that's actually kind of nice. Let's set it to I do. Let's see if it's different. Watch the same one there. Wonder if I have to go to um, Cynosaurus mode again. Turn it off. Cynosaurus mode on. No, it's just bringing it up like that. Okay, anyway, um, but that's still pretty cool. Um, maybe it's a keyword pop-up, I don't know. Um, Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, so if we set it up to the keyword pop-up, we get it as a pop-up like that. If we do a CSL, it brings it up down there like that. So, you know, you'll, you'll just have to, you know, let's see what happens if we click on that or, you know, nothing interesting. Okay. Um, okay. We can just, I guess, 
keep going through here and uh, uh, okay so somehow I have urination synonyms here okay um, so anyway but uh, you can play with this however um, I don't know the way I want to do the um, pop-up yet but I will um, I will add use pack ah I can't spell And um, I don't know if I want global mode for this, but I'm just going to leave this at this for now, just so I have the package installed, and so you know, so I've got I, I've got you know one step closer to using it. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Um, you know, that's if I now wanted to, um, you know, just okay, we want to. Um, uh, so we want to stage that. We'll commit that, add in Word stuff. So we'll do a little, little McGit in here. And let's, uh, push this on up and okay so that's it for today so um, you know a couple of a uh, you know text-based things a little bit about how I uh, you know go from try package into my configuration and yeah that's it so I um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, you know hopefully more soon <laughs>